All right, guys, so today we're going to do a little dressing up under the hood. Um, what's in this box kind of matters, but not really. So I ordered some filters from uh, Doc's Diesel. First time ordering from them. I've heard some good things about them. And more or less what I need is this crankcase filter. Uh, my truck's got 98,000 miles on it. I have no clue if this has ever been changed. But I'm going to take that cover off and I'm going to uh, paint that cover. Um, that is one part that is going to get, you know, colored. And then the other part is I have a metal fuel filter cover for, I believe it's this fuel filter. Yeah, the end of the hood fuel filter. Because in plastic ones, I've, I personally have never had one break, but I've had the, the, Hex head nut gets stripped because people put the wrong sockets and stuff on them. Uh, which I'm going to powder coat it orange. So for now, that's the dressing up underneath the hood that's going to get done. So I'm going to get up underneath the truck and uh, start pulling that cover off. Uh, I don't know if I'm ever going to delete this crankcase filter or not. Uh, I've thought about it on my old trucks. And I just never seen seem to want to do it. I I like having the filter to change out, but I mean you can put the catch can on there and everything and just change them out. And then you can put the nice billet valve cover on there and everything, and they look fancy. So for now, I'm just gonna paint that cover and put this new filter in it, and then I'll, obviously I'll change the filters and everything. Uh, and I'll powder coat the uh, cap and everything, show you what it looks like. So, get under the hood and start doing that. I am going to get a little wet. I don't know if you can see it's raining. It's not heavy. It should blow over pretty quick. Uh, and then eventually I am going to get to my EGR kit that's laying here. Yeah, everything's filthy. I got an outlet to put in my truck. The CB still sitting there to put in my truck. Bed liner kit still laying there. Uh, I didn't take the bath while the intake it's laying there. But I'm gonna go up, start turning truck apart. here you guys probably all know I'm not changing this valve or this uh, crankcase filter but for those that don't it's underneath this cover you gotta take the oil cap off if you still have your cover here in the front if you didn't take it off and you did your EGR delete uh, you gotta take it off pull the dipstick out and then there's Eight millimeter bolts all the way around. You just gotta take them out, and then you can just pop it off.
right guys once you get all the uh, bolts out you want to make sure you unplug your plug air and take that hose clamp off and slide that hose off which I guess still slide the hose off and make sure you take your oil cap off and that'll release this cover there it goes covers off and there's the crankcase filter I am going to leave it well, I'm going to put the oil cap lock on which I'm going to be back up here while the paint's drying to dump the oil do the fuel filters and everything but I'm going to leave this filter sit here and put the new one in whenever I get to put the cover back on I will suggest to everybody don't do this right after you drive the truck because my legs are burning from kneeling on the radiator and the EGR and everything it is very warm I literally just got home from work I'm gonna go down and get all this stuff taped off get it scuffed up get it ready to paint all right guys so uh I got the sides taped off I mean that little bit's not gonna matter you can see what you need to see on the decal um, I got this taped off I was gonna take it out uh, there's security bits I have security bits uh, the t25 uh, almost fits in it uh, t20 is too small t27 is too big but for some reason it doesn't fit but uh, I was reading on it and it says do not remove non-serviceable part so I, I just decided to just tape it off I mean I can hopefully spray down in there good enough so I was gonna tape these letters off because I'm actually gonna do them in blue but I'm gonna paint over them in orange so I can get actually down into the the commons and then down in behind the letters because it's gonna be hard to tape them off to actually spray in there and then I'm gonna go back and I'm actually gonna hand paint these just because they're so small and taping them off is gonna be too hard to actually get the, the little holes so I'm gonna hand paint those before I put the clear on uh, so I'm gonna wipe it down again and mix paint up which it's not gonna take much paint at all it's almost not even worth getting the uh, spray gun and stuff out but it's not gonna take much paint at all and uh, put a couple coats on it Alright guys, there's the uh, crankcase cover. Uh, it's dry, It was I finished it yesterday. And then it's their thunderstorm so I didn't get the service truck. Uh, there's the fuel filter cap. Uh, I'm going to go up, start servicing the truck, change fuel filters, change the oil, oil filter, change that crankcase filter and get this cover back on, which of course it's raining again. Can't win here in Pennsylvania. Alright, in case you guys would like to service these trucks yourself and 
don't know where the filters are. If you have a 13 and newer, they might have changed it on the 5th gen, I'm not sure. Above your dry shaft, next to the fuel tank, is your one water separator. And then, get out from underneath the truck. Down there, driver's side of the engine, if you can see that black cap, is the other fuel filter. And your drain plug should be a half inch drive ratchet. So, I'm gonna get mine changed. Alright, guys, as you can see, I had to put an umbrella up because it started raining pretty good. Uh, obviously, everything's done. Crankcase covers back in. Now, the fuel filter. Uh, cap is not on the truck. I'll explain that when I'm not around the noisy truck. Alright guys, so uh, that's going to wrap it up for that. Uh, the reason I couldn't use my uh, metal fuel filter cap, I'm guessing the threads must be wrong on the cap that I had gotten. I had never had any issues with them before, but I couldn't even get it. It would start just a, a little bit and it would it would stop. I couldn't get the thread on. That other cap, you could just spin it and it would spin pretty much right down to almost the O-ring and it would tighten up. So I just put the factory cap back on it. I mean, where it's at, you really couldn't see that cap anyways. So it wasn't a super big deal that I needed it. I mean, maybe I'll get another one for the next service anyways. I eventually plan on deleting that anyways and uh having a fast system on it but that's down the road so uh, right now like like i said it's not a big deal uh next video might be my egr delete uh i'm not sure i my tie rod should be here for my razor that might be the next one i'm not I, i've i'm honestly not sure what the next video is going to be but stay tuned Thanks for watching.